Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Star Wisdom, and this is Den Imperium. So, it's been a while since I recorded one of these. I have been on since then, but um, I wanted to set up my bookstore shop um, for the next time that I recorded, and I just never felt like building it. But I decided it's time to get started on it. I wanted to do it last week, and it is past. It is no longer last week. It is this week, and. That is causing problems. So, anyway, we're building a bookstore. Um, we named some villagers. This guy's name is Hopeless, because he was hopeless. Um, where's Issues? One of them is named Issues. Yes. Issues. Good old Issues and Hopeless. Uh, we have a librarian. I don't remember if we had that in the last video. I'm guessing we didn't, but, um, that's how I'm gonna be getting most of my bookshelves, I guess. It's more efficient to just kill cows and stuff. Um, but, anyway. Um, but before I started recording, there was a slight problem where... Uh, there was a creeper in the treehouse, which means that there could be zombies in the treehouse, which means all kinds of problems. Um, so yeah, it blew up. Nothing terribly bad occurred, but still, we need to make some repairs, and we need to figure out where exactly it came from, because, uh, if zombies can spawn, then... Or if mobs can spawn, then a zombie could potentially spawn and kill the villagers. Hopeless, you better not try to escape. Okay. Um, so what I'm thinking is they may have spawned on top of this roof, because I might not have completely lit that up. Whoops. So, anyway, we're going to put some torches up here. Um, and I was also thinking it was possible that they spawned up on top of the trees, but I don't think they can spawn on leaves. So... I don't know, I'm gonna give the mobs the benefit of the doubt here. Um, hopefully that is sufficient. Um, uh, where's my diamond axe? I feel like I left my diamond axe flying around on my chests. Um, but yes, so, this episode, we are building the bookstore. Let me just get the roof up here. Actually, I can probably just jump up and do that. And that should be good. Okay, so, I am going to put that down, and let's see, I don't think that there's actually any space for mobs to spawn up on that one, uh, so that's good. Okay, hopefully we won't have any explosions. Okay, so, going back down, bookstore. We have plenty of books to sell, um, we haven't gotten too many more books since uh, last time, I don't think we've gotten too many more books? I don't know. Um, I went mining, 28 diamonds, did I have that? So the problem with this is that I can never remember what I had since last time, so I'm not going to focus as much on that. I didn't have magma cream and blaze rods, I went into the nether and died a lot, um, but also got a lot of stuff, and I have a terrible sword. I just realized that. Uh, whatever, we don't really need a sword. Um, for the bookstore, um, obviously we're selling these books, and I have some ideas of what we're gonna do. The first thing is we need lots of bookshelves, um, because it's a bookstore, and books are on shelves, so, hence, bookshelves. Um, and let's see, I don't know if we're gonna finish it tonight, but might, or in this episode, um, but, do I have any more leather? No, I guess I don't. Um, okay. Well, at least start it. Um, I'm gonna go kill some cows and, I guess, breed them too. I should've grabbed some of my wheat. Uh, I'm so scatterbrained about what I've got on this and what I have on Denivir- or, yes, this is Denivir- whatever. Point is, I'm kind of not entirely sure what my resources are. Um, which is one of the reasons why I'm looking forward to finally having this bookstore built, because once I have the bookstore built, I'm gonna build my house kind of close to it. Um, I actually don't even know where I'm gonna build books. We'll have to find that out, too. Anyway, um, I don't even know what it's gonna look like, really. So, yeah, this is all just gonna be very spur-of-the-moment planning and design. Um, it will be cool. Um, but yeah, so then once I have the bookstore built, I'll build my house. Finally get some chests sorted out. We're not living in the tree village. That's not what we're doing. Um, let me just breed the chickens really quick. Let me see. Go away. Okay. That gave me a lot of XP last time that I tried it. Express. So I'm level 17 even. So I'm... Level... 
think I'm eating the seeds with the baby chickens. Yeah. Well, okay, that wasn't as much as I thought it was. Although there aren't as many chickens as um, cows. I wish you couldn't feed wheat and seeds and stuff to and carrots to baby cows, chickens, and pigs, respectively, because um, I just realized why do we have lava part in right there? <laughs> that's kind of funny. I wonder if that's someone's spawn point. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Um, okay, so let's kill the cows. No, come back. I need leather. We're making bookshelves. Um, where's my sword broke. Okay, I guess we do need a sword. Oh, um, actually, to get more leather, we should buy that looting sword from the village. Or, uh, my last one I lost while I died in the nether. Let's see, how much was it to get a team emeralds? How much did it cost? Do I have all my coal? Oh, I don't have all my coal on me, but I can't with it. Um, I guess I'll grab the rest. And I don't think I have any paper to trade with the librarian. And I don't want to trade with the librarian anyway, because I want to be getting um, bookshelves for myself to use. Uh, let's see. So let's go up here. Let's trade for that Sharpness 3 booting one iron sword. Um, <laughs> my armor situation is just terrible. So anyway, I'm hopefully going to be a lot more organized after I have... Um, I don't want to trade with you. Um, after I've got uh, the bookstore and my house set up. Okay. Oh, you're the librarian. Dang it, where? There you are. You are the one I want to trade with. You have 20 coal for it. Okay, how much was that reading? Nine emeralds, okay. So, we're gonna have to use a lot of coal here, but whatever. It's the main thing I have coal for. It's the main reason I've been mining so much coal, because I know that it's going to be emeralds in the long run. Hopefully the trading... No, his trading... Nah. Fine, I've got to trade something else. Um, uh, I guess I have to trade the iron for the last emerald. Dang it! Oh well. I have a lot of iron. I think I saw down there that I have like 49 blocks. It's plenty. <laughs> Although I don't have any armor, and yeah, I'm not doing too well. I could make full diamond armor, but I just don't want to until I have enough for a full set. Um... Especially since this isn't hardcore, I'm not as worried... What am I getting? Iron. Uh, I'm not as worried about getting the... Uh, 39. Whatever. No. Not as worried about uh, dying and stuff. Throwing out the box. Go. Oh, and actually... I remembered I've been smelting stuff. Um, chicken. Okay, so we've got plenty of food. Um, and let's go up here... So my idea for the bookstore, um, which actually, now that I, I just remembered, we will need lots of iron for this as well, um, and lots of wood. I think I'm mostly going to build it out of dark oak, just because it's so... What? How? How? Just no. No. You know better than this. Get inside. Go on. Inside. Let's go. Seriously, dude. We're gonna have to rename you to, like, issues or something. Seriously. How did you even get out? Dude. How am I supposed to push him back in? This is the librarian. I want him. Go. Go inside. So annoying. Okay. I think he's in. Now. Stay there. Come on. Okay. He should be inside, finally. Okay, cool. Um, let's trade this guy. Uh, nine, wait, I want to make sure the coal that coal trade didn't refresh yet. Um, so we'll get one more emerald from him with the iron and the iron sword. Okay, there. Now we can kill cows. So, um, but what I was saying was for the bookstore, we're going to use a method. Ha! You thought you could get out. He really doesn't like it out there for some reason. He's weird. Maybe we'll rename him to Weirdo or something. Anyway, um, I keep, I keep like, starting my sentence of, this is what I'm going to do for the bookstore, and then I just totally trail off and don't explain it at all. Um, what I am trying to explain, and this time I will explain it all the way without moving on to something different, hopefully. <laughs> um, there is a method that you can use 
to move minecarts into other blocks. Um, I think I can't. I've done it before in a creative world. I think you can do it using sticky pistons, or not sticky pistons, just regular pistons. Um, oh, and I wow, and I'm already jumping off the topic again because we have something else. Um, Finishing the topic at hand. Basically, we can get minecarts with chests in them. And then we can push those minecarts with chests in them. Oh. All the, all the shows are gonna be gone. Oh well. No paper. Um, we push those in to the bookshelves, and then basically people can click on the bookshelves, and it opens up the chest with the inventory screen. Uh, sure. Um... And, so yeah, basically, it puts an inventory inside of another block. Um, and it's just kind of a cool feature. It's not very necessary, and in fact, it's going to take up a ton of resources because we have to make minecarts and um, chests. Where do I have... I have had an extra chest somewhere. Yeah, chests. Um, and I guess we'll grab more of the iron. Uh, we probably won't do too many of these to start out, but I just think it's cooler that you can, like, pull the books off of the shelves. Um, and... Another... I don't think I have any another one. Uh, let's get one, two... Oh, they also don't stack. Okay, well, we'll get four to start, then. Um... I have a bit. I think... Yeah, let me just set this up. Bottom chest. Okay, so, yeah, let's make two more chests. Yeah, let's just start with four, four minecart chests, um, and then we'll have to expand later. And, okay, I think to make a minecart chest, do we just do that? Yeah, okay, cool. And, do these chests? No, they don't stack. Okay. So, we'll do that. We need to make a sticky piston. Let's see. I hope it doesn't need smooth stone. I feel like it probably does need smooth stone, but we'll try it. Okay, so it's wood. Uh, it's iron here. Cobblestone and redstone. Yes! Haha, -ha, okay, we have a piston. And we can reuse this. Um, and then we need a lever, if I remember correctly. Um, where... I don't have any sticks. Or am I just not seeing them? Probably just not seeing them as usual. Um, okay, so we'll craft this. My inventory is a mess. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really need to. I don't even have inventory space for this. Uh, eggs. We don't need eggs. Oh, I do have some paper. I'll make some books. Oh, and I have some books that I can recraft, I guess. Okay, and now I have to figure out more stuff. Yay. Uh, sticks. Turn them into torches. <laughs> That's where all my sticks probably went. Okay, I'm gonna smelt this. So many little things to keep on top of. Oops. I don't want to run my horse. Oh, yeah, I bought a horse. I can't remember if I did that last time. Um, okay. Throw those away. Put redstone. I don't really need... Well, I don't need that, though. I'll keep the knot. I don't even need a bow, because I don't have any stuff. I don't have arrows. Um, okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Books. We have extra books up here that I was going to enchant, but we're going to use them for bookshelves. And where did I put the bookshelves? I bought some bookshelves from that one villager, but... Oh, and I have a minecart in here, too. That's good. Um, I guess we'll make one more chest in a second. Um, bookshelves. What? Dude, back off, skeleton. Jerk. He's like, I can shoot you. Haha. <laughs> My wolves are like, we want to kill you, but we can't because that's die. Seriously, thank you. Hey, we have arrows now. Whatever. I don't really want arrows. <laughs> um, we'll get infinity eventually. <laughs> I say that like it's super easy. Okay. So, one more minecart with chest. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough resources to finish it right now, but we can at least start it. Where did the minecart go now? Did I not take it out of the chest? Dang it, horse. No. <laughs> this area. I really do need to expand and get a good house going on this. Uh, seriously, where is that minecart? 
It's not in my inventory. Where did I go? What? Did I not have a minecart? That's minecarts with chest. Oh, it's right here. It is in my inventory. Haha. <laughs> I can see. Okay. So, finally, we have minecarts with chest. We have these two bookshelves. We'll make some more bookshelves using the spruce wood planks that I definitely have here. Okay. Yeah, six. So many bookshelves. Um, okay, what was the last thing that I needed to do? Um, get those off my hotbar, off my hotbar. Um, okay, so we're making it out of dark oak wood, and what else? Dark oak wood planks. Grab stone bricks, maybe? Um, I should start smelting some then. Um, I'm not very prepared to do this, but we're gonna at least give it a start. Um, that's what we're eight. Eight. What? What? Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ish. Why can't... I'm so confused right now. That is going to work. Okay. Um, I have a lot of gold. Let's see. Do we want to use... I was thinking granite. Polished granite. Definitely. As much as I don't like it, I might kind of work with the dark oak wood. Um, and we need... So anyway, I was thinking of using some of these decorative blocks. So let, let's experiment with some stuff really quick. Um, I don't want to carry all this coal around with me. Um, let's see. What do we have? We have a little bit more granite. And then a couple more blocks. Um, but dark oak wood, I was thinking of using some... Uh, do I not have any andesite? I was thinking of using quartz, but I don't really want to go mine a bunch of quartz right now. Although I do have some, don't I? What is it? Here. Uh, uh, maybe I don't have any quartz. Right, that was also shipwrecked. Ah, so confusing! Okay. Focus. Focusing on things. That should give us 12 blocks of polished diorite. Great. Um, oh, and the other stack over here. So I think these are going to be our building materials, and then also... Well, okay, we need to see how these look. So we've got... And of course, logs. Um, we have... Logs. Planks. Granite. Hmm, just kind of trying to decide how the granite looks with the... It looks... It kind of looks out of place in the diorite. The diorite really looks out of place, so we'll skip that. Well, I don't know, maybe for certain rooms of the bookstore? I don't know. I feel like we should just start building it and then go from there. Um, let's find a good place. And maybe what I'll do is start it in this episode and then finish it off camera. Um, okay, so let me just throw some stuff back that I definitely don't need. Um, this here um, for the frame we want to use do I have any more dark oak somewhere um, we might want the fences I don't know what for but we might want them um, I do have more dark oak wood okay that's good I'm gonna turn these into planks okay um I think we're good. Let's just grab the rest of the slabs, too, that I have left over. I'm building up there. Although I must use spruce wood. I don't know why I have dark oak slabs. It's kind of random. Um, okay, wait for these to finish smelting. One more. Okay. And 20 over here. Okay, that should be good. Good enough to start. Um, and let's see. We want to build it... Let's go find a place to build. Um, close to spawn. I don't want to. I want to build it in a relatively open area, though. That also, so that I can build my house nearby it. It's got to be kind of flat, but not. Hmm. I kind of feel like. 
I don't want to build it right in this plains area, because this is just kind of... I think this is a nice place for more additions to the spawn village in the future. Maybe I should build it... a little bit tucked back in the woods over here. So there's nothing over here. It's a cave. Um, there's nothing else of anyone else's that I'm going to run into. There's the uh, PvP arena over here. And a road. So that could work nicely. I could have a road going through the forest, connecting over to here. Um, not cool. I'm just thinking, because this is also probably where I'm going to build my house. It's just a block of the same kind of. Um, I think we will build it probably even right here. Um, it's going to be big ish. So we're going to have to build it. I guess the idea is that if it gets bigger, we'll expand downwards and have, like, underground levels. Um, so let's start with... Do I have any dirt? Of course I don't have any dirt. Who needs dirt? Um, Alright. Well, let's get... Okay, so I guess we need more materials. Dirt and probably an axe so that I can chop down a tree. Um, let's see. In the chest. Do I have dirt? I've got six. I've used a lot of dirt filling in creeper explosions. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have no dirt. Once again! No dirt with star wisdom. Okay, where is my axe? I have an axe, I know. I thought I had that efficiency diamond axe. Did I lose that time? Alright, well, I guess we'll start with that! Um, okay, let's chop down... And actually, you know what I should do? I was, so what I was thinking is I was gonna fill this dirt patch in, but I'm probably actually just gonna start that as the floor of the bookstore, because I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to raise the bookstore up a little bit. It's not going to be, like, flat to the ground. Um, raise it just a little bit. And then that'll also help with expanding downwards later on, I think. If it's raised up a little bit to start out with. Um, I don't know why. It, I, I think it just might make it look a little bit more natural. Um, hopefully the leaves will all despawn. Why aren't... I haven't even birch leaves despawn from this tree. Probably because they're all connected. Oh, because they're connected to that tree. Whatever. Um, so this is a good starting thing. Um, I'm just going to experiment with some framework really quick, and then I will come back once I have something that I like. Okay, so here's kind of... not really. <laughs> this isn't really what I'm looking at yet. Uh, basically, for sure what I've got is the interior of the first floor, um, it's raised up a little bit, um, I'll probably just fill in this lower level and then, I don't know, do something. eventually we'll expand down there. Um, but I think this is enough space for the first floor. Um, we definitely will be expanding downwards. We might expand upwards one floor also. Um, but the main thing I've been focusing on, it didn't take me this a long time just to do this part, um, the main thing I've been trying to work out is, like, a good entrance. And I want to do something with, like, an arch in front, but, like, when I try to do this, and then I put two more stairs on top, I guess I'll like, show you really quick. Um, let me just make a little staircase up here for myself. If it will scroll, lag. Okay, there we go. Um, sort of like this. And it doesn't quite work. Mainly because of this, in the, like, these two blocks, just looking, it's too much wood right there. Um, and I was thinking, I was kind of messing around with stuff like this, um, or this little part that you can kind of transparent, um, something like that, but 
I don't know. I'm not a great builder. So, uh, we'll, we'll see how well this turns out. But, I don't know. It, it just is too condensed. Um, so the arch, the arch thing might not quite work out. Um, I don't know. It, yeah, it's just too much wood. Um, so then I tried, well, maybe, actually, let me just, I have an idea. I can get up here. Um, that, that actually looks okay. Um, and then, of course, I would have scrolling. That plays things um, like that, and then I'm just going to fill in the rest of the stone. Um, so far, the granite and andesite is not looking, <laughs> not looking good. Uh, or diorite, whatever it is. Um, that arch looks okay. I, I'm, not, I'm not liking the granite part here. Um, I wonder... So anyway, I think we're probably going to mostly use stone brick and the wood. Um, it might partially be because... The, ah, I'm getting stuck in the doors. Uh, partially because the diorite texture isn't updated yet. Um, also, glowstone blocks, I was thinking, might look nice right there above the doorway. Um, so let's see. I'm just thinking now. We'll probably do something like... I don't know if I want to have those go all the way to the ground, or if I want to have them... And on these, because then what I was thinking is using slabs and um, to go up. You kind of get the point. Um, and I think that would look okay. Let me make some more slabs, actually. And just put this in really quick. Like this. Um, and then, of course, this is. wood thing. Plank. There we go. Okay. So, I mean, this looks okay. It looks kind of plain. I, that's why I really wanted to try to use the granite and the diorite in some way, just as kind of, like, more to it. Um, there's not gonna be windows on the bookstore, because the walls are gonna be covered in bookshelves, so windows are gonna be pointless. Um, so I can't do that to space it out. Um, but the thing is, the walls are only visible from the outside, so from the inside, it doesn't, it's not really gonna matter. And I'm also probably going to, um, put carpet down over the floor in here, um, uh, along different aisles. Um, so that won't be as, it, it won't all just be a solid wood floor. Um, the roof will probably be mostly wood, but I think, I think that'll look fine. So... We've got this arch. I don't think... Should the whole house be... Or ho not house. Uh, bookstore. I don't know. I'm trying to come up with kind of like a design for the front and then kind of copy it. I mean, not copy it exactly, but use a similar style around the sides. Um, so, I don't know. This, this arch actually looks okay. I think it was just too pointy before. Um... And now, really, the only issue is, well, actually, I mean, this looks okay. Um, these pillars on the sides, I think, are okay. Should I double them? I'm just gonna see. No, I think it looks better on the sides. Um, hmm. Anyway, so I'm not sure about the stone or how to get this granite in. You know, actually, let's just just go to default really quick and just see kind of what it looks like if everything is all one texture, because then granite might go a little bit better with it. Um, and this actually looks really weird in default now, because the wood definitely stands out way more because it's more one color. Um, and I checked, I can't make dark oak with pressure plate, so just have to live with it. Um, I don't 
don't know. Maybe the granite would look a little bit better now. Let's, let's just see if we put granite here. We could do, like, granite stripes. I mean. Let's just try this. Like a pattern. Maybe going like this. And then that could work like pillars oh and maybe offset what if maybe, i just got an idea i think this will look good um if we drag out the stone brick a little bit like this maybe uh we'd have to side on. I guess this would just be a... <laughs> My armor situation is so bad. Um, sort of like that. Or... doesn't look quite as good as I thought it was going to look. Um, if I left it like this, and then used fences in front of the stone brick, um, just as kind of some Depth. That could work. Let me get rid of this again. Push it back in. Um, but I think I think this will actually work with spacing them out like that. Um, and then take the fences. Whoops, that, that's not where they go. Okay. Almost there. And I think we will leave this as like that'll probably be glowstone in the future. Um, Something like that. And then we'll kind of have a trim going around the outside. Um, probably like this. Let me just see. That looks okay. I think this could work. Um, and this would even be a good place to put like a banner. So that would be cool. Because the diorite, it does stand out a little bit. What if we used andesite? I don't have any andesite, but I'm just looking at the texture on the walkway over here. Andesite is a lot closer to the stone bricks. Um, so andesite, I bet, would go really well where I have the diorite. I'm going to put diorite there for now and then probably replace it later. Um, so let's just let's see what did we do. We had granite. And then die right here. Um, and then maybe granite again. Yeah, I think I think the granite will work with this. Uh, let's go back into whoops, Athrus ascended again. Really quick. Let's just see. It'll take a second to load up. Um, let's just see how the stripes look with the texture pack, resource pack, whatever. It it same thing basically. Okay. Um, Yeah, I, I do like how this looks. I think it might be a bit too stripey. I don't know. I think once we replace this with the uh, andesite, that will look pretty good. Um, let me try and strip, or not the stripes, the fences in here. It's kind of like pillars. Because uh, fences are as close as I can get to having, like, half slabs flat up against the wall, um, vertical half slabs. Um, let's make some more half slabs. I don't know how I feel about the trim going all around like that, though. It looks a little bit... A little bit out of place, I think. Well, now, once we actually have a roof up there, or a second floor. I think it will work. Um, and I'll probably have to take this tree out. Get the trim to go around the side. Like that. It's a bit pointy on the end there. Maybe three fences again. Just experimenting with a lot of ideas. Um, this kind of works. Um, and I'm just wondering, this part obviously isn't necessary. 
it's mostly just so that this slopes up, kind of. Um, Um, let's finish the half slabbing over here. And I think after we finish the front, that will probably be it for this episode. Um, I don't have, I didn't have a ton of time right now to record. Um, but I really wanted to just get a start on this bookstore. And so that we can really get closer to making some money. <laughs> um, or just getting, gathering more resources from other people. Um, and doing something with all those enchanted books that are just piling up. So let me get... Um, fences. I don't know how I feel about the fences on the sides here. I think the fences are good in front of the stone brick. Um, I mean, yeah, this this looks pretty good, honestly, to me. I mean, let me know what, what you all think, obviously, because, I mean, I might not have... I, like I said, I'm not a great builder, so... And then on the inside... Um, it won't matter too much what it looks like. It will need to be taller. Um, so actually, these slabs will probably be replaced with stairs. Um, which actually, now that I think about it, that might make it look a little more natural here at least. Let me just see what this... If I put it like right there. That kind of slopes it in on itself, or the corner right there, where it, the point kind of merges into the roof. Um, so putting it with steps is going to be good, and then I guess we'll have half slabs behind it. Something like that. Um, yeah, I, I think this is going to be a really cool bookstore. Um, and we'll have, like, probably a entrance area here, maybe with, like, a desk or something where you buy the books. Um, it won't really work like that, but just for appearance sake. And then I think we'll have bookshelves along the walls. Um, and I do have to check... So, Oh, actually, before we finish the episode, I think we're going to finish building there. But I want to show you what we're going to do with the um, bookshelves. I'm not going to actually do it with a bookshelf, because once I break it, I just have to replace it with wood and stuff, and that's annoying. But... Let's see, I think I can remember how to do this correctly. We do it like... Oh, this needs a rail, too. Um, I brought that hanger back Yeah, I did. Okay, so I think we can make some rails pretty easily. I think it's just... If I remember correctly... Is it actually... Well, okay, I might need actually one of these fire. I grabbed 32. I need one more piece of iron. Is it like this? No, it's not. Is it this? Yes, okay, so... I didn't need all that extra. Whatever! Um, so it's kind of like... Let's see, how do we do this now? Rail. I think it's like this. Rail. And then minecart with chest. And then we break this block that it falls. And then you can push it around, so you gotta be careful not to hit it. Dang it! Well, okay. Fine. So, recraft this. I wanted that block so badly. Fine. Okay. We're gonna put these, and then rail, mine guard. And then we... If I can scroll to my axe, break this. We accept that we're not gonna get... Oh, well, maybe we'll get blocked. Ah, we did. Okay. And then we put... I believe... I believe it's something like this. And then we just put some building blocks. And I think... Let's see. Oh, where does the piston go? The piston goes like this, I believe. Nope. Come on, this is... little bit closer to it. No! Dang it! These things. Issues. Okay. <laughs> One more time. Up here. Let's 
put it like this. Okay. Oh, it doesn't go there anyway. It goes like this. Right? Yes, like that. Okay. Then I think we put the lever here. Like that. So then this block right here, the oak, would be a bookshelf. And when you right-click it, it opens up a minecart. And then there would be another bookshelf on top of it. And I think we could I think we could stack them. Um we might just have one row. But you can you can see the point is that it's it's kinda cool. You get to do this like system where you just I mean, the biggest problem is people bumping into it, I think. But let's see, is that gonna really knock it backwards? No. So people won't be able to knock it. Well, they'll be not. Well, okay. Not to the. Dang it. Well, the point is, once it's locked in, they're not going to be able to knock it around. Um, let me just try to push it back in. I don't think it's going to cause huge issues once it's all locked in on every side. Um, but yeah, people can just right click it, and there will be books in here. Um, I might even rename this. I might rename them to bookshelves um, so that you can open them up. And you take it out, and basically I'll have prices next to them. It's gonna be cool. Um, let me just tear all this down really quick because I don't want to leave this long around. Um, but yeah, so that that's basically the idea behind what we're gonna do here. Um, we'll have bookshelves and we'll have prices on them that'll be like, this book is one gold or one diamond or really good books, obviously, like Eluding 3 or Sharp or, uh, Fortune 3 will probably be a diamond or two. Um, but anyway, we'll figure out pricing later. Uh, the, the bookshelves will go along the walls. We'll have to make lots of bookshelves. Um, and we'll stick minecarts within them. It's going to cost lots of iron, but we have lots of iron, luckily. And we will get lots of iron out of it. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you think of the front here. Um, if you have any suggestions for other blocks. I like this kind of striped pattern. I think the granite looks good, especially once it updates. Once the Athers Ascended resource pack gets updated, I think it'll all kind of merge together a little bit better. We'll probably put banners here and here once we design a banner for it. Um, but let me know of any suggestions for it, if you think it looks good, if you think we should do other stuff for the sides and back and whatever. and. Yeah, basically just feedback on this for next time. Um, I'll probably keep messing with it in the meantime, off camera just a little bit, um, but more likely than not I won't even have time to do that. So anyway, yes, uh, thank you all for watching. I am very, very undergeared, <laughs> even though I have a lot of stuff in storage, I just don't have time to put it to use. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think about the bookstore so far, um, improvements, suggestions, ideas for the future, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye! Bye! I really need to come up with a better ending for my videos instead of me just trailing off and then me saying I am done. <laughs>